Every field work is full of risks. Running out of time, collecting not enough data for your project, the risk of bad weather conditions, the risk of making wrong conclusions out of your observations and misinterpreting things, the risk of being too tired, uh, getting cold and sick, the risk of not finding what you are looking for in a particular location, the risk of getting um, unusable samples, for example, because they were um, improperly collected, mislabeled, and contaminated, the risk of your psychological breakdown, um, the risk of not achieving particular things that you want to achieve in your project, etc. There will always be more things that you can mitigate. But if you reflect about what can go wrong, or if you are not sure uh, whether something is going wrong, but you feel confused and reflect about what makes you feel confused and why it happens, chances are high that you will have a clear picture of major threats to, your, to the success of your field project. So you can invest your efforts in mitigating them. When it comes to reflection, risk assessment is closely connected with resource allocation and prioritization. This is because it's impossible to mitigate all risks. There is simply not enough resources for that. So it's important that you can explain to yourself what risks should be mitigated first, how, and why. It's also important that you understand that this is a dynamic, ongoing process. It's not something that you're doing before your fieldwork or at the beginning of your fieldwork. You should be constantly evaluating the situation and thinking about uh, things that could turn problematic. For example, if you feel confused at some point, you should try to explain yourself why it happens. Maybe this is because you are not con confident in your knowledge uh, if so, there is a risk of making mistakes because of that. Luckily, this risk can be mitigated by asking someone more experienced to watch while you are doing things you are not sure about. Or maybe you feel confused because you are starting to realize that your project is planned unrealistically and is not flexible enough to cope with circumstances that you are facing now. In this case, once you understand the, that, you can make changes to your project and adjust to the situation. But if something makes you confused and you don't reflect to understand why it happens, you won't be able to identify some significant risks for the success of your fieldwork. So we got some tools that will help you to reflect and deal with risks threatening your fieldwork.